when we write or talk about something we know that we carry the voice of other people with us in our voice in dreams anything can happen these european mountains to to make them crumble is maybe provocation but also for many people the image of their fears my writing is built on the little fight that melancholy and humor are always making inside the sentences into the body of my garment no one will ever know where the seams are Will you begin where I am? Loveless house, ninth floor. Tell me the truth about love. I just realized right this minute, I swear, that by taking her name away, I was fighting it. The morning after, the streets filled with portraits of missing people. From hell the sea will hurl its sea spray, by with the sun grazing a sea green as can be. At this very moment, a jolt passes through her body. She moves to the edge of the roof. It's time. Literature is something very intimate. Those words, those ideas, they go into a place we cannot even share with others. They go into this inner space where, where we carry no names, where we have no form. Like it goes directly into our self, into our identity. That's why literature is still alive, no matter how big Netflix is. <laughs> this is Roger Robinson. This is Kaya Genç from Istanbul. I'm Romanian author Bogdan Suciava. I'm Shetland Scottish poet Christine De Luca. My name is Julia von Lukadu. I'm a German novelist. And I love listening to Trafica Europe Radio. Trafica Europe Radio. Trafica Europe Radio. Trafica Europe Radio. Europe's literary radio station. Free online. Free online. Free online. Free online. It's free online.